Hello everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial we will go through how to use rockets in the F5. Rockets is by far the easiest weapon to deploy in this aircraft and uh, we have essentially two types of rockets. We have uh, the Hydra and the FFAR. I am not going to drown you in details about the differences between them. Uh, there are other and uh, better sources for that. But the biggest difference is that the FFAR have a higher velocity and it's a bit more precise uh, and with a bit uh, longer range. The Mark 70 rocket is among the oldest rockets that are still in use and it comes with um, a variety of warheads like uh, practice warheads, the high explosive warhead and the high explosive anti-tank uh, round, white phosphorus and of course uh, illumination rockets. The main ones you are going to use uh, when playing DCS is the high explosive and the high explosive anti-tank version. So I will focus on them in uh, this video. You can deliver the rockets in two different pods, the uh, LAO 3 pod with 19 rockets and the LAO 68 pod with 7 rockets. By default you will uh, shoot the rockets in uh, single mode, that is one rocket per pod selected. Or you can set them in a ripple mode where you will uh, shoot uh, as long as you hold uh, the weapon release button pressed. You can turn on a ripple uh, mode in two ways. You can activate them in the mission editor, like so. Here you select uh, the time between each uh, rocket is fired. The other option is that you can order the ground crew to uh, program the pods in uh, the kneeboard. I will show you that in a few sec. So without further ado, let's get into the cockpit and uh, look at how to deliver these rockets in practice. So here we are in the cockpit, so let's uh, pretend uh, we are preparing ourselves for a mission, including rockets. Let's open the weapon screen here. When I'm loading up, I often like to go for uh, high explosive anti-tank rounds on the outer pylons and high explosive ones on the inner. That gives me a bit more uh, flexibility in my mission. You never know what you will uh, encounter. Mark 5, eat, heat, right there, same there. Let's go for high explosives. Like so. So, now the ground crew just informed me that they have uh, finished uh, loading up the aircraft. So let's open our kneeboard and let's uh, set some uh, ripples on this thing. We're carrying the LAO 3 pod, so let's uh, set it. Right shift, press right out, one. Let's set for, you know what, let's go for 20, like so. Now let's uh, just uh, start this thing up and uh, let's get going. Today we are going to uh, take off from Tsukumi and we're going to attack uh, Gudada, just like uh, Last time uh, we have some vehicles right here. I'm just going to skip ahead uh, a bit here. So here we are in the cockpit and uh, ahead of us we have the airfield with our uh, uh, targets. Here are, are our targets and let's uh, start with uh, trying to take out the T-72 here. So we're going to arm uh, the stations uh, with the uh, heat uh, rockets, the outboard ones. Set uh, the mode selector switch to rockets. You don't need to mind uh, this one. And we're going to set our depression to 14. Oops, like so. And uh, the mode selector switch to manual, like so. And when it comes to our attack, we're going to try to fly at uh, 5,000 feet and 350 knots uh, initial speed. And we're going to dive down at a uh, I mean a 20 degree uh, dive. In a perfect world, uh, we will uh, get bang on target when firing at uh, 1500 feet above the ground then, but uh, as you know, the reality never uh, conforms to the theory, so uh, let's uh, try and see uh, how it goes. And another thing I forgot to mention is that uh, the heat uh, rockets is sort of uh, misleading, because even though they say they're anti-tank, they're only useful up to APCs. So I don't really think they will uh, destroy uh, the T-72. Its the, its armor is too thick. But uh, let's get a go at it. Oops. Let's unpause there. 
All right, we're coming up on the target. Let's roll in. Parameters is pretty good. Let's get the speed up to 400. You want to fire at 400. There he is. Oh. And fire. As you saw, we were pretty much bang on, seems like we fired uh, maybe a little bit uh, over him, but uh, overall quite good shot, but uh, as you can see, he's uh, still alive and well. Now I'm going to reset the mission and I'm going to uh, set uh, the pods to single uh, fire, and I'm going to show you how to do that, so see you then. Alright, so now we're back in uh, the cockpit, so st let's start setting it up. You're going to uh, shoot um, high explosive rounds this time, like so. This one to rocket. And set the depression to 14 again. Like so, and manual. <coughs> so, what I'm going to want to do here is to do a strafing run on the three trucks. There they are. Let's roll in. The thing about rockets, you, when you're firing in single, this, uh, it's uh, that you can uh, eyeball it pretty much. That's why I prefer doing that. Okay, we're at 400 knots, that's good. Fire. See how it go event. Seems like we at least got one of them. Uh, two of them actually. So all in all we can say that it was a pretty good uh, rocket run. Let's uh, do a last one on uh, this little fellow uh, down here. Alright, we're coming up on target. Let's roll in. Oh, bad trim. It's fire. And we got him. So guys, that is pretty much how you conduct uh, rocket attacks in uh, the F5. Again, I recommend that you're using uh, uh, the single mode instead of uh, the ripple. That way you can course correct in case you're firing uh, too uh, far or too short. So thank you all uh, for watching, like and subscribe if you liked it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.